my first EDC or uh, uh, EMT exam, I got some one end of mark out of 25. I also got four <laughs> marks in network theory first time. I have written uh, DRDO, BARC, uh, ISRO, GATE all at a time and I have qualified in all the exams and attended interview of all in the first attempt itself. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, my name is Ajay and welcome back to our channel. Joining us today is a junior from my college. She is currently working as a scientist in ISRO. So let's get to know from her how is the work life in ISRO, how did she prepare for the exam and some more interesting questions. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Without any delay, let's get started. Hello Charishma, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. So, can you briefly introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. I'm Charishma from Venkatagiri town near Tirupati. I have done my schooling from Venkatagiri itself and then intermediate from Nellu Narayana. B.Tech from SV University in 2019 and graduated from IIT Madras recently in 2021. I have done my Qualcomm intern for three months and then uh, I got PPO in Qualcomm. I worked for almost six months and then I joined uh, ISRO recently. Currently, I am working in ISRO as scientist. Uh, my interests are like... Uh, I love karate, I'm a karate green belt holder and then uh, I love playing basketball karate. from my side. Yes. I think I should be careful while asking the questions. <laughs> yeah. I remember you have performed in dance also, I guess, right? In Rhapsody. Crazy, crazy yes, song. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you are a perfect all-rounder. So Charishma, how does it feel working at ISRO? Uh, I'm very proud working in ISRO. It will be very interesting like you will be working on all the uh, aspects w which you have studied in your B.Tech. Like uh, you will be dealing with antennas, uh, control systems and then like uh, while connecting from uh, control to antenna, we will be working with RF and then uh, it's real time work like you will be seeing your output it will be very interesting. I am in telecommand station, like uh, basically we used to send command for, to the launch vehicle in real time. So I love my work. And there is a uh, scope to do a lot of things in ISRO yeah. since it's R&D organization. Since you are talking about real time projects, recently ISRO has launched PSLV also, right? So have you seen it live? How is the yes. feeling? <laughs> No, no, actually I haven't seen it live because I have to command the launch vehicle and I will not be even turning my head around. So I'm very tensed and I'm very excited since it's my first launch. I have been in Andaman for almost some 20 days, like being in Andaman working for uh, PSLV 50, C53 machine and it's like a amazing experience for me. That's so nice. So you have uh, done graduation in IIT Madras. So what, what are the learning experiences yes. that you have found in the college? Comparing to our college, so what are the dif differences that you have found there? Coming to the faculty, they were all like uh, very knowledgeable and uh, they are student friendly also. Like I learned a lot from professors like uh, David Kopilaiser and Sheetal Ma'am. I worked as TA under both of them for uh, digital modulation coding and wireless communication. Like it's uh, it's an amazing experience uh, working as a TA for them. And uh, coming to the college life, I enjoyed a lot at IITM. Uh, I wish like uh, we could have stayed for a uh, lot more months. Due to Corona, like we could not stay for longer time there. But uh, when you are graduated from IIT, like you will be building some self confidence that you can work uh, in whatever atmosphere it is or uh, whichever work you have been given. You will be having that uh, confidence in you because uh, you will be treating in that way. The curriculum is very strong in IITM. Like if you are able to uh, get passed out from IIT, like you can work in any field. And I, I like my friends too. Like I love those late night walks around Gajendra Circle. It was an amazing experience for me. 
Before going further, if you are preparing for GATE or ESC, you have got an amazing opportunity. YES Academy is conducting a scholarship test on 31st of July and the last date for registration is 29th, which is tomorrow. The best part here is you can get scholarships up to 75% of the course fees. All you need is a good internet connection with a PC or laptop. You can write this exam at your home itself. And coming to the syllabus, if you are currently in BTEC second year, the exam would be on mathematics and aptitude. Whereas if you are in third year, final year or a college graduate, the exam would be mostly on basic technical questions with a little emphasis on mass and aptitude. Make sure not to miss this amazing opportunity. The last date for registration is 29th July. So go and register for this exam right away. Now coming back to the video. So you have mentioned that you got an internship from Qualcomm. So, and also yes. you have worked in Qualcomm since you were telling that. So what are the key differences that you have found being in corporate sector and also in government sector? What are the major changes that you have observed? ISRO is like, we must not treat that as a government organization. Like, uh, it's like a dedicated research organization. Um, I'll say in that categories, like, wait, uh, first uh, coming to the work, there will be a team contribution more in ISRO, but it will there will be individual contribution in Qualcomm. When it comes to research output, like uh, there is more scope in private sector compared to government. Like coming to working hours, like uh, in Qualcomm it's flexible, but in ISRO, like you have to work from 9 to 5.30 specifically and uh, during launch uh, you need to work 24 by 7 but when it comes to Qualcomm there were uh, some disadvantages in with respect to working hours also like you will be having uh, members from different countries particularly I have my members from San Diego and France like uh, so I need to work late night because uh, we have to work in a common working hour right so early morning uh, 8 or 7 to 8 and then we'll be having meetings till 11 12 so like there were disadvantages for both and advantages for both it depends on us like uh, what do you like most and so you had a full-time offer in Qualcomm and then you got an offer from ISRO were you also equally confused as yes. others uh, while choosing this decision or you or were you cleared while taking this decision? No, no, like I was lot of, I mean, I had lot of confusion. Previously, I was more inclined towards ISRO because like since from childhood, I was just 90 kilometers away from Sri Harikota. I have been seeing uh, launching of rockets since my childhood, right? So I was always dream of uh, being at ISRO and working as a scientist. I just want to explore all the fields. Uh, so I had that passion, but uh, Qualcomm had lot of other benefits too, like it's my personal choice to join ISRO, but both are balanced in my opinion. Like, I have written uh, DRDO, BARC, uh, ISRO, GATE all at a time and I have qualified in all the exams and attended interview of all in the first attempt itself. Mm -hmm. But I could not clear DRDO. So now coming to the preparation part, how did you prepare for all these exams? So you have got a good rank in GATE got an admission in IIT Madras and you have cleared ISRO return interview stages. So, and you have also appeared in BARC interview also. So, how did you plan your preparation? So, I was aiming to be at IIT since ninth class. So, I had a clear idea. So, I joined uh, AS Tirupati uh, in my BTEC third year. So, I have prepared uh, my notes clearly and then uh, I have made a quick notes to revise on the day of exam i just made uh, made up my basics that's it and for bar drdo and isro like uh, only some just add on subjects will be there uh, gate syllabus is very precise but when it comes to other research organization exams like you will be having rf microwave and uh, instrumentation and all so you have to uh, learn those things also what my suggestion to the juniors is like whenever you are reading like you just make a uh, quick notes to revise on the day of exam why because like since i had only some 10 days 
time before drdo like i had my uh, main semester exam at iit and then i had 10 days gap and then i have the drdo exam so since I, since i have that short notes so i could easily revise like within the 10 days i have covered almost uh, all the subjects so that and one more thing is like don't get upset when you are writing the exams like mock exams you have to write a lot of exams in order to get a good rank like even if you learn for almost some two or three years you will not be having a clear idea like uh, i mean how to write exam because uh, the time is very limited if you have lot of time you will be able to solve it it any point of time but within the three years you have to solve lot of questions so time management is very important so you have to write lot of exams i remember like my first edc or uh, emd exam i got some one and of mark out of 25 it's like i mean uh, i was not uh, that good at emt but still like i have improved a lot because after writing exams you will be knowing at what stage you are and how much preparation you need and like which concepts needs to be improved so mock exams are like uh, testing our knowledge and improving our preparation that's the main thing which i wanted to say since you are mentioning you got one and a half mark in emt I also got four marks in network theory first time, so it happens with yeah. everyone. And when you are writing ISRO exam, you have to remember that uh, there will be a lot of questions where you won't find answers in the options. So even last year when we wrote uh, approximately six to seven questions, uh, there were no options which matches the right answer. So whenever you come across those kind of questions, you just have to skip those and move on to other questions. Otherwise, you will end up wasting a lot of time and you will not be able to solve all the questions. Yes. So do remember that whenever you don't get any answer, just move on to other questions. So what are your future career plans, Charishma? I, as I have said, like I have published an IWD transactions journal. I want to continue my research. I, I want to do PhD. Uh, the wow. first plan is that. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Like I have in mind to do PhD, but uh, like uh, after seeing a fantasy package and research work i mean I, I was given rd position in qualcomm so i thought i should go to qualcomm rather than phd because uh, at this level at this 24 age we must earn something like we must not depend on our parents we must not yes. be a burden like we must be financially independent either it's male or female or anyone like we must be financially independent and we have to uh, plan our career in that way. Okay, Charishma, thank you so much for joining me today. It's very nice talking to you. Thank you, sir. Firstly, I would like to appreciate your effort to motivate students and encourage many aspirants. So that's a very big effort. There were many uh, achievers who are not caring about the aspirants like you're taking your time you're adjusting your time and uh, i have seen lot of uh, telegram messages and uh, instagram followers like who are approaching you and you are sparing your time for them that's a very great thing thanks a lot thanks <laughs> on behalf of all thanks the aspirants thank you